Device placed. I got one thermite. Nice, Tim. Hey, what's going on, guys? Simzy here from Disrupt Gaming, and today we're going to be going over how to play Bandit. And a big part of Bandit is Bandit tricking, so I want to focus a lot of Bandit tricking in this video. So if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button for future videos. Let's get into it. All right, so we're going to go over the loadout really quickly just because I want to focus a lot on the bandit tricking side because I feel like that's the most important part of playing bandit and what you should be doing when you're playing bandit. But the first thing that we're going to go over is the MP7. Um, run whatever 1x site you like to use. Unfortunately, he does not have access to any of the newer sites, but any 1x site will do. And then, of course, run a flash hider on the barrel. And then besides that, you have your P12 pistol. And then, of course, you always want to run your nitro and lasers for both the pistol and the primary are all optional it's all personal preference so we're going to move on to the bandit tricking all right so to get into bandit tricking the biggest thing that you want to understand when playing bandit is knowing what walls you want to actively deny and typically they're going to be walls that have direct access into the site so on clubhouse for example you're always going to want to deny the outside server wall as well as the construction wall but typically the server wall is going to be a primary push from all attacking teams or most attacking teams so you're going to want to bandit trick that as much and as long as possible. Of course, you're going to deal with nades and capital flames and um, Zofia stuns and people trying to impact you underneath or ash charge underneath. So it's going to be really hard. So you want to be, be careful when you're doing that. Um, just be aware of all these possible ways that you could be um, killed or they could deny you from trying to bandit trick. But that's going to be your primary focus. So in this first clip, um, pretty much I just want to show you guys a way to help you hear what's happening on the other side of the wall. So you can hear if a thermite's being placed, you can hear if a, a Habana is getting shot at the wall, you can pinpoint which wall it's on just by listening. So in this first clip, the wall is gonna be completely closed. And in the next clip, I'm gonna shotgun a hole in both of the walls just so that the sound can kind of travel a little bit easier through the wall. But as you can see, I'm gonna let you guys listen to this and you can see um, what you hear in this clip. So as you can see with the wall closed, you can still hear what's happening on the other side. Um, it's just not as audible. So I'm going to show you another clip of the wall being shotgunned open. Just two simple holes on each side of the wall just to kind of let the sound through. So in the second clip, you can hear a lot more. You can hear the attacker repelling onto the balcony. You can hear them pull out their charge. Um, you can hear them place it on the wall, as well as you can hear them shifting off of each wall, trying to kind of bait the bandit trick. But as you can see, it's a lot easier to hear it and know what's happening on the other side, just making a, a small shotgun hole from a teammate or even making a hole with your SMG through the wall. It should be pretty easy. So I want to let you guys listen to a Habana getting placed on the wall as well as an Ace. And then of course we have the new Hard Breach gadget this season. So I want to show you guys that as well. The new Hard Breach gadget is really easy to bandit trick. Um, I, it's a little bit hard to hear at times depending on how they place it on the wall. But it takes so long to detonate that even if you don't hear it get placed initially, the moment that you hear the actual ignition go off onto the reinforced wall, you could place your bandit charge and you have more than enough time to place the bandit before the charge actually goes off. So it is quite easy to deal with.
So one more thing I wanted to talk about is how Thatcher affects Bandit tricking because now this season it's brand new Thatcher only disables gadgets. He no longer fully destroys them. So that means if a Thatcher throws a Thatcher at a wall and you have two bandits on the wall, the bandit batteries are not destroyed. They are only disabled for a short period of time. But the one thing that you can do is pretty much you could still pick up your bandit battery and place a new one down during that whole animation of the Thatcher debuff. You still see the debuff on your screen if you are close enough to the wall and you get EMP'd um, by Thatcher. You will have that same debuff on your screen, but you could still pick up and place bandit batteries as you can see in these clips. And it really doesn't affect you at all. So it's kind of interesting. Um, there might be some timing issues that you want to try to figure out between getting EMP'd, picking up your battery, and placing it down before the new charges get destroyed. But this is one thing to look out for, although I think it isn't going to really have a huge effect because a lot of the time Thatcher is banned in the higher levels, as well as even though that you are getting EMP and your bandit batteries are getting disabled, you still have your ba batteries to pick back up. So it's not really going to be that big of an issue. You just got to worry about the timing of everything just to make sure that you have the time to actually place your bandit in order to actually bandit trick that hard breach gadget. Um, but yeah, it, it's different, but I don't think it's going to have a huge effect on the way Thatcher is going to f affect bandit tricking or any other form of tricking in this game. One last thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that bandit tricking is getting a lot harder to do um, just because a lot of the ways to counter a bandit trick has been shown, such as Zofia stuns, impacting underneath, ashing, nading, um, you know, capital flaming from garage like it, it's just there's so many ways that the attacking team can deny it, depending on the map of course but in this particular case clubhouse it's so easy to deny that bandit trick so don't feel discouraged if you're unable to actually bandit trick it you still have a really good gun you still have a nitro to help deny plants and you're still like a very aggressive operator bandit is a very um, aggressive three speed he has a really good gun really good loadout so um, don't feel discouraged if you're unable to bandit trick this game it also has bugs where you won't hear if a thermite charge gets placed or you won't hear if a habana charge gets placed so there are many things that will make it harder for you to bandit trick but of course the primary thing you want to focus on is trying to bandit trick by any means but of course you don't want to die in that case anyways guys that's going to be all for me thank you so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed if you did so don't forget to leave a like in the video and if you guys are new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe button for future content and if you guys have any other tips or topics that you like to see me or anybody else a part of dg go over then i'll leave that down in the comments below and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace